Now log in to the Blink.Cloud website. Here enter the username and password and click the login button. Now go to developer zone. Here click new template and give the template name as water quality alert. And select the hardware as ESP32 and connection type as Wi-Fi. And click on the done button. Now go to setup data streams. Here click new data stream and select the virtual pin. And here enter the first variable name as TDS. And select the pin as V0, data type as double and give the maximum value as 200. Now click on the create button. Now again go to new data stream, select virtual pin. And here enter the variable name as EC. The pin is V1, data type is double. And here also we can give the maximum value as 200. Now click on the create button. Now go to web dashboard. Here we need to drag two gauge widgets. Now go to the settings of the first gauge and choose the data stream as TDS. If you want we can change this color. And click on the save button. Now go to the settings of the second gauge and here choose EC and click on the save button. Now go back to the main menu and go to the events and notifications menu. Here click create event and select custom. Here we need to give the event name. So in the program we give the event name as poor underscore water underscore quality. So we need to give the same name here. And, and give the description as water quality is poor. Now go to the notifications menu. Here click this enable notifications. Here select the email to optionals device owner and push notifications to device owner. And here enable these options. Enable notifications management and deliver push notifications as alerts. Now go to settings. Here uh, select the event will be sent to user only once per one second. Here also enable both these options. Now click the create button. Now the event is created. Now save the template. Now go to devices. Here click new device. And then select from template. Here we can see the template which we created. Water quality alert. And click on the create button. Now we got the template ID, template name and authentication token. Click here to copy those values. Go to your program. Here paste the values. And here we need to install the Blink library. And then enter the Wi-Fi username and password. Now we need to upload the program. For that go to this drop down. Here we can see the port will be already selected. So to change the board name click this edit button. And we are using ESP32 board. So search for the board which we are using. So here we need to search for ESP32 dev module. Select the board. Click OK. Now click this upload button and upload the program. Now the program is successfully uploaded to the ESP32 board. We can also check the output in the email. Here this is the email. This is our subject and you can see the description. 
Now we need to set up the Blink mobile dashboard. For that, download the Blink IoT application from the Play Store. Once you open the application, you can see the template which we created in the Blink web dashboard. Now click on the template, go to settings and here click the plus icon from the bottom of the page. Here also we need to add two gauge widgets. Now click on the first gauge. Here choose the data stream as TDS as you did in the Blink web dashboard. Now go to design and give the title. So this is optional, you can ignore that. Now go back. Now click the second gauge. Here choose the data stream as EC. Go to design and give the title as EC. Now go back. Again click the back button. Now the setup is completed. Now we can check the output. 